Hi, my Scooter Cats. My name is Kate from Scooter Cat Gaming, and we are in a game called Pembray. This is an early access game. It is a horror game, and this is about uh, two filmmakers that travel to the forest to make a documentary. So let's get started. If you don't open the open through show folder, please do so before you play it. Once an entire experience of the game, it only takes a second to do it. Demo build. To see it, okay? Kermanshire Walls, UK, 11:21 p.m. Writing in the journal again? Yeah, I'm going to start vlogging times of events. We can add these times in the documentary later. I'm going to vlog the time right now before we go to bed. I'll go get some water for the fire real quick. Okay, let's see here. 11.21 p.m. Andrew will automatically write in his journal when events happen, thus saving the game each time. This happens, you can save at any time from the menu as well. Turn on your flashlight, I'm going to put this out. Did the flashlight run out of batteries? I think it just got knocked too hard in the backpack. Hold on a second. Must have just got bumped or something. Alright, let's get settled in then. Carmen Hothshire, Walls, UK, 5.46 a.m. Hmm, a little rainy, but nothing serious. We can get some recording in. Maybe we could shoot some of our intro while we're here. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm not ready yet, though. Go look for a place to film. I should be ready when you get back. Don't run into any ghosts or cults, will ya? Damn, I'll try not to. Be back soon. Okay. So, let's see. Alright, well, cool. Let's just go on, I guess. Okay, can run. Awesome. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe we should drive into town and ask some locals. I should go ask Isabel. So the tower swing is really the only good location we have. I was thinking about driving into town and talking to some locals. Let's get a quick shot of the tower swing and then we can go to the town. Sounds good. I'll pack our important stuff and wait by the swing. I think that's what it said. I, I accidentally hit enter. Okay, I'll go set up by the tree. See you there.
Oh, hold on just a second. Damn camera won't focus. Man, the sliding sucks. Oh well, we can fix it in post. Want to take the test shot first? Yeah, I'm gonna wipe the wear the lens real quick. Ready? Yep, let's do this. <whistles> test. Five seconds. Got it? Clear. Let me check the footage. The lighting is okay, but the audio is shit. Let's get a lav hook up. Now let me check audio levels. Levels are equalized. Try talking a little bit so we can test the audio playback. Go. Um, testing audio, testing audio. It is currently 5.52 a.m. It is rainy and dark today. Clear. Let's hear the playback. Hopefully the rain isn't too bad. What the hell? Turn it off. Is one of the cables loose? Um, nope, all the cables are in. Let's try again. Maybe it's just a glitch. Recording. Testing, testing. Is this mic broken? Please work so we can start filming. Okay, let's listen to this again. Oh, it's getting darker and darker, the screen is. Recording. Testing, testing. Is this mic broken? Please work so we can start filming. Huh, maybe the mic was just rumbling against my coat the first time. Maybe. Either way, we got everything set up now. Let's actually record our first clip now. It's starting to rain harder. Ready when you are. Action. It is currently August 19th, 2017, at 5.54 a.m. We are currently in an unknown location, located in Prumbrick Forest, in search of paranormal activity. Many strange occurrences have happened here throughout the years. But the real, the real question is, are these events merely campfire stories, or the truth? We are here to solve that mystery once and for all. For the next two weeks, my husband and I are going to be camping in the middle of the forest in hopes we can uncover some truths to these tales. We will document everything and anything and everything that happens throughout this documentary. Right now, we are going to interview locals in the area in hopes we can get some insight of the strange cases that have taken place in this forest. Cut. That was perfect. Was it good? It was perfect. I think it was a great introduction. It was almost creepy enough to make me second guess staying out here for a few next few weeks. You better not ditch me. I don't want to stay out here any longer than we have to. Honestly, this place gives me a really bad feeling. It almost makes me nauseous. Trust me, I know where you're coming from. There's definitely something not right about this place. Let's get going. We've got people to interview. Ha! That's if anyone will listen to us. They'll probably think we're just some stupid Americans. Ah, uh, I hope not. Wow, we are really out in the sticks, aren't we? We've been driving for like, what, 30 minutes? Uh, yeah, around here it's been 30 minutes already. Yeah, around there. Sorry, I read that wrong. Read that wrong. I hope nothing bad happens while we're in the woods. Same here. White Mill Wall, Wales, UK. 6.08 a.m. Let's check this common area first, then let's head to the main lodge and talk to some residents. Hmm. 
Excuse me, sir, may we talk to you for a minute? About what? We are filming a documentary about Pembrey Forest, and we are trying to ask locals what they think about the area. Pembrey? I can tell you some things about it. I've got some stories of my own to tell, too. Do we have your do you do we have your permission to film, sir? Go for it. I don't see a problem with it. Audio is good, video is good. Okay, we're ready. Ah, how rude of me. Do you mind telling us your name? My name is Ethan Hill, and you guys are... My name is Isabel Porter, and this is my husband, Andrew. Well, it's nice to meet you two. I love telling my stories from far away. Are you nervous? A little bit. I've never been interviewed like this before. That's okay. Just act normal, pretend this camera isn't here, and that you're telling your story to your buddies. Okay, okay. Ready to go? Yep, let's do this. Let me run down what we're going to ask you, just so you're prepared. First, we'll introduce you and state the location. Second, we'll ask what you think about Prombry Woods. Then you'll tell us what you've heard others say about the area. Finally, we'll ask for personal experiences if you wish to share them or have any. Sound good? Yeah, that seems pretty straightforward. Good. Okay, let's start. Three, two, one, action. We are currently with Ethan Hill, a local on the outskirts of Prembrey Forest. Ethan has some information on Prembrey and a few stories of his own. Thanks for joining us, Ethan. Thanks for having me. I'd love to give you some info to you guys. So, Ethan, what do you think of Prembrey Forest? I think it's pretty terrifying. Something always feels a little off in there. I just can't place my finger on it. It's just such a surreal feeling. Like something... Like knowing something bad is going to happen, but you don't know when. Andrew and I spent the night on the edge of the forest last night. We both know the feeling you're describing. What have you heard about Prembe? My grandfather told me a story of when he was on a hunting trip with his friends in Prembe. What happened exactly? He told me that they, w that they were deer stalking, but had ventured a little further into the woods than they had hoped for. It was apparently too dark, and they had just kept walking in circles before they decided that they just had to spend the night. Not really wanting to, considering everyone knew the lunges of Prembrey Forest, but still, they felt as if they had no other choice. After making a small fire and a few makeshift shelters, they finally all started to doze off. My grandfather had told me that he woke up a little later because he heard something odd. He described it as a shuffling sound, like someone, like something was walking through the woods. Thinking it was a deer, he hopped to catch the glimpse of it in hopes they could track it when dawn came. He said that the shuffling, the shuffling continued for a few minutes before he could finally see it. What he saw made his blood run cold. He said it was a tall, dark figure, easily two meters tall. The most unnerving part of this creature was that it was clearly trying to observe them. My grandfather said it walked strange. It was sort of shambling from tree to tree while keeping its focus on us. He pretended to be asleep, but watched it look around them for what seemed like hours. Eventually, it walked off into the woods, still making a shuffling sound as it moved farther away. When the shuffling was no longer audible, my grandfather waited about ten minutes until he woke his friends and insisted they leave immediately. After describing what he saw to his friends, they remembered the tales that they had heard and didn't hesitate to pack up in a matter of seconds. My grandfather said that he knew it was still out there, watching them make their escape. He said that he wouldn't look behind him because he knew that he would see it, watching them from behind a tree. That was in 1966, though. My grandfather gave up hunting and was never and has never returned to it. I believe him completely. He was an avid hunter. For him just to give it up, all up, in a single night, just doesn't make any sense. He was telling the truth. That is a truly terrifying story. I hope you don't run into whatever your grandfather saw that night. Eh, it would make good footage now, wouldn't it? That's true. We are trying to get proof while we're here. Do you have any experiences of your own you'd like to share? Yeah, I do. A few months ago, my friends Roger and Sarah and I were going to make a scary video in the woods. I can't believe we're going there. This is stupid. We'll be fine. You're overreacting. I wouldn't say that. I've heard too many stories. I hope we do see something. If we get footage, we'll be famous. Famous? That'd be awesome. I'd feel pretty... I'd feel probably fill my trousers if... Something really was out there, though. If you see something, at least get it on film! I don't know why she's the only one that talks. And don't record in vertical mode, you git! 
Honestly, mate, that video of Joe jumping off the balcony, we couldn't see shit because you were recording vertically. He busted up his leg for the video, and you didn't even get the shot! Don't remind me, please. Joe was pretty upset about that. Hey, can we stop messing about and just drive to, to Pembroke already? Ugh, fine, I'll go drive the car up. You guys make sure you got extra batteries for yourselves. Does Roger have extra batteries too? Yes. Yeah, he put them in his pocket earlier. Okay then. Let's just wait for him to drive up. It's weird that she's the only one that talks. Damn, it's dark. This looks like a good place to enter though. So, what's the plan? Everyone got your phones out? Recording the whole time? Put it in horizontal mode. Roger. You'll take the lead. Sarah's get Sarah gets middle and I'll get back and I'll keep back. Now hold on a moment, why do I have to go first? We'll play rock, paper, scissors for who goes first. Are you kidding me? Not at all, it's only fair. Sarah can stay out of it. She can take middle. I'm not complaining. Fine. But all decisions are final. I'll read it all. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot! Bloody hell, I guess I'll have to. Camera's on. This trail should be on the map. Let me check. Okay, this path looks right here. We should go east. It seems to lead deeper into... What the fuck was that? I think it's just some animal. Guys, I'm going to find out what it was. Get it on video. Are you insane? Do you realize where we are? I don't care. We're going to be famous. This trail comes back together up ahead. I'll meet you guys up there. Just go northeast. Is he crazy? Should we go after him? For a guy basically pissing himself a few minutes ago, I'm surprised he didn't run back to the car. Damn it, Roger! If we go after him, we're all going to get lost. Let's go. Let's just go northeast, like he said. When we get to where the trails meet, and he's not there, we'll wait 15 minutes. If he doesn't show up in 15 minutes, we'll call the police and head back to the car. Oh, okay. Is this the trail I'm supposed to go on? I don't know. I can't run. Oh, there's that. It sounds like it's raining, but it doesn't look like it's raining. Okay, so I can't go that way. Roger! Roger? Boo! Jesus, Roger! You asshole! 
thought you were hurt! Calm down, calm down, I'm sorry. I found out that the sound was just an elk, but I still couldn't find it. But my flashlight ran out of battery, and I, and I had nothing but the moonlight to guide me here. I thought you packed extra batteries. What? No, I thought you guys had extras. Back at Ethan's house, you made it sound like you had extras. Well, I didn't mean to sound like that. Can we just get out of here? Something doesn't feel right. As I was running, my eyes started welling... My eyes started welling up from how scared I was. When I got here, I calmed myself down by playing games on my phone. Then I decided to prank you guys. It would be way more fun. You're a dick for that. It wouldn't... It wasn't any easier for us either. I was scared shitless. I don't know about Sarah, but I just got really uneasy Same out here. here. There is really something not right about this place. Oh, are you, are you not going to talk, Sarah? Can we just get out of here? Wait, we didn't get any good footage. Want to make a fake one real quick? Just clickbait it like everyone else. Screw it, yeah, let's do let's it. Let's go to that place where we felt a chill earlier. That's a scary location. Sounds good. Camera's still rolling? Yep. You can start any time. Okay, talk about where we are and then pretend that you see something behind us. We'll run back to the car and then get views. Roger that. Shut the hell up, mate. Start any time. Right now, it's currently 1.27 a.m. in the middle of Pembrey Forest. We're going to try to film some paranormal things for you guys, so stay tuned. We're going to set up a small camp right here and hope... Guys? What the hell's that? Cut. Good. Now let's get back to the car and get out of here. This is the same bridge, right? Yeah, no doubt. Okay, just making sure. Did you guys see that? Tell me you got that on film. No. It's time to go. I don't feel good. We left the woods and didn't look back. Something was out there. It was then that I knew that Pembrey Forest was in fact haunted. I can't even begin to imagine how that was. It was pure terror. I'll never go back, and frankly, I don't think you guys should be out there either. There's something out there, and it's not welcoming. Well, Ethan, thank you for taking this time to talk to us and share your experience. My pleasure. Be safe out there, guys. Good luck on your documentary. That's a wrap. Good. Great job, you two. Do you got to be anywhere, Ethan? If not, you should come get something to eat with us. Sorry, but I can't. I was only supposed to stay at this lodge for an hour. I'm already past the time. I'm supposed to be back. Do you have a family at the camp? Yeah, my girlfriend is alone with the kids right now. And she let me take a short break. I should probably get back, though. Well, thank you so much for the information. I hope to see you again sometime. Likewise. I'm starting to rethink this trip. Dude, it's gonna be. <laughs> it says this game is going to be released September 15th, 2017. September 16th is my birthday, so that's kind of funny. So I guess it was already released. This was actually really cool. I liked the idea of being filmmakers into a woods. I thought that that was unique and different. Uh, the only thing I really didn't like was that that girl Sarah was the only one that talked that was just it was just odd other than that this was really cool I really liked it I don't know if this was actually released on Steam if it was I'm totally gonna play the full game so I'm gonna end this episode here if you haven't already subscribe to my channel if you like this video hit that like button and if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and Instagram I'll put the links in the description below until next time my Bye. <laughs>